Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made over 1 mil an hour as well as a 70k crafting experience an hour with this kind of lesser known uh, crafting method. Now the items can be a little slow to buy, however, uh, the initial investment really isn't that high and uh, if you're just patient enough you can make a ton of money doing this. What we're going to be making is birdhouses. Now for this video we're going to be making you birdhouses and magic birdhouses. So what you're going to need for this is a certain level of crafting. You can do it at a very low crafting level. However, the most uh, traded bird houses are going to be at level 60 crafting and level 75 crafting. Now on top of all the money, like I said, you're going to get crafting experience. And even if you were to break even with this method, 70k an hour crafting experience is almost the same as glass blowing. So it's quite nice. Anyway guys, hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. So we ended up buying 1,000 of the clockworks and 1,000 of the U-logs. Currently, I'm going to try to build the U bird houses. Uh, so, if you can't buy the clockworks on the Grand Exchange, you can make them in your house. Uh, it's not going to be more money this way. I'm not going to be one of those people say so you get more profit if you make all items yourself. It's not true. It's going to take longer and you're going to get less money per hour. However, if you just truly cannot buy them on the Grand Exchange, there's actually decent money to make the clockworks yourself. So, I bought the clockworks for 1k each and the U logs for about 300 GP each. So, we're currently investing 1300 GP per item. And it looks like on GE Tracker they're selling for 2.5k each, so that's a 1200 GP margin right now. G Tracker is very useful for finding little methods like this, that's how I found this to begin with. And surprisingly the U birdhouses sell 1 to 2,000 a day, which is actually a lot more than I thought it was going to be. If we do more of a broad search for this, all the birdhouses, we can see that the U birdhouses are the most popular after that. Uh, it's going to be the magic birdhouses, then possibly the redwood birdhouses, but it kind of comes down to who is currently trying to train their hunter at that moment. So to build the birdhouses, you're gonna need a varying level of crafting. For the U birdhouses, you're gonna need 60 crafting. And for the magic birdhouses, you need 75. So I'm gonna try doing both. My crafting level is actually only 72, so I'm gonna need to boost it to make the magic uh, birdhouses, but the U ones are totally fine. Uh, so we're gonna have to see how much actual crafting XP we get per hour. We're getting 45 pretty frequently, so I'm guessing this can be over 60K an hour. Another thing worth mentioning is to actually build them you need a chisel and a hammer in your inventory so you can only withdraw 13 of the clockworks and 13 of your selected logs at a time. And as soon as they're done you just go deposit and withdraw 13 more clockworks and 13 more of the U logs, not the U birdhouses. Anyway guys, we'll come back when we made all 1000 and we'll see how long it takes. So we're just on the last of the birdhouses. Now I have calculated my crafting experience per hour being about 65k probably could get 70k if you're perfect but 65k is a little more likely that being said doing the magic bird houses is going to give me more experience per hour so let's say you're going to get around 70k at crafting experience per hour doing the magic bird houses okay so there we go we're on to our last nine clockworks so it's actually a very nice way of training or crafting even if you sold these at break even it's actually uh, but the same crafting experience as blowing glass. Okay, so we're going to withdraw 1k of the U birdhouses and some money. Um, now, I'm not really sure what the price is at now. So in total, this took me about 40 minutes to complete uh, 1,000 birdhouses. So that kind of infers that you could do around 1,500 per hour. So since none are actually selling currently, we're just going to go check the price on G-Tracker. It looks like it's still about 2,500, so we're going to try selling them for... Just under that at about 2400 or somewhere around there. Okay, we're gonna drop them in for 2249. That's just a bit under. And that's gonna be about a one mil profit on those birdhouses so far. So that's pretty good. And now we're gonna go ahead and buy some of the uh, magic logs and more clockworks. So I would not normally recommend um, building uh, something like this where the boost just gets you the level. For example, I only get a plus three boost from these uh, mushroom pies and that you need level 75 to make it. So as soon as it wears off, you won't be able to make it anymore. However, I am just gonna get a crafting level reasonably soon here, cause I'm getting about 70K an hour. So I'll get another level in probably 20 minutes or so. And at that point, it won't be nearly so annoying because especially these mushroom pies are not that cheap. They're about 3K each. So I would probably just recommend getting the crafting level, but I wanted to do this for the video. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, so we'll come back when we have made 1,000 of the magic bird houses. Okay, so we decided just to finish the rest of it on my phone on my bus ride. I got another crafting level, so doing this is not nearly so bad. The boost lasts for like two minutes sometimes. Uh, so we're just finishing up the last of the bird houses. Now I can't really tell exactly the XP per hour I was getting on my phone, but I have to imagine it's probably about 70k an hour because you only get an extra 5 GP per bird house created. 
So probably uh, still between 65 and 70k an hour. Fuck, that's so annoying. Okay, so actually half of the U bird houses have sold off already for 2,249. Just in the time it took me to, well, finish my bus ride and make all these magic bird houses. Now, it's looking very promising currently because uh, in the past 24 hours, someone has bought them for 4,500 each, uh, which would be a very, very good margin because the magic log is about 1,000 each and the clockwork is about 1,000 each. So I spent about 2k on these bird houses. So if I could sell them for 4,000 each, that would be more than 2 mil an hour on the magic bird houses. However, we're just gonna have to see if they sell before I do too many calculations on GP per hour. So we'll come back uh, when they sell. So we're back and we have successfully sold off almost all of the bird houses. The magic bird houses, unfortunately, we had to drop down to 2,500. They didn't actually sell for <laughs> Uh, 4,500. I didn't expect them to, but still, that's only a 500 GP profit on each one. The U bird houses are just pretty much all sold off for 2,249, so we made about 950 GP on each of the U bird houses. So now to have a quick look at the GP per hours that I got, as well as the crafting experience you could possibly get. So on the magic bird houses, we made 500 GP uh, per bird house, and you can do about 1,500 of these per hour. We did a thousand, so in total you're going to make about 750k uh, per hour on each birdhouse. On top of that, you're going to get about 70k crafting experience per hour. Now in U birdhouses, we got 950 GP profit per birdhouse, and if you consider we can do about 1,500 an hour, that's about 1.4 mil profit per hour and about 65k crafting experience. So obviously this is going to vary quite a bit based on the current prices on the Grand Exchange, especially since this is kind of a low volume money making method. Uh, you're really going to have to just be patient, buy them at a good price, and just wait for them to sell off. However, it's not a big investment of your money for one. Uh, the clockworks really aren't that expensive, and the U logs aren't that expensive. You only invest about one or two mil, maybe, to be able to do this for an hour. And you're looking to potentially almost double your money. So it's a very good money-making method, especially considering that you don't actually need very high requirements either. You only need uh, 60 crafting for the U bird houses, which really isn't that high or 75 for the magic bird houses. However, I think U's are probably the sweet spot. And if the clockwork devices end up being too expensive, just make them yourself and sell them for a profit. There's quite a few different ways uh, to make money off of bird houses. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and I will see you in the next video.